Welcome back everybody. Let's have a look at XRP then shall we and we'll work out if there's any value in making a trade now whether that to be the up or to the down. For the record I'm not a financial advisor the, the, not a financial advisor, uh, and uh, this isn't financial advice. This is what I'm doing at the moment and at the moment I'm actually short on XRP as well as Bitcoin and Ethereum and pretty much the rest of the market. Um, the reason being and we'll just have to look at Bitcoin I know this is frustrating but we have to look at Bitcoin this is the reason okay so just a, a brief analysis on this um, we're consolidating from twenty thousand dollars right this is our trend line um, the top uh, last year's high 14 and this year's high um, 10,300 as you can see uh, we fell from the sky and we also fell from the sky and are we going to fall from the sky? No, but we will probably have a bit more of a continued downtrend. And um, we've been trading sideways for a long, long time. So it's a really boring area. We've rallied a massive amount since we fell out of the sky here. This, by the way, doesn't really count. Um, this um, consolidation from this level here was the 6,600 area. All right, that was a nice double bottom there. It would have. It would have consolidated a little bit. We shouldn't have done this. Okay, so th this bit here doesn't count. I discount this. All right, but it is now part of the chart, unfortunately. But this is where we would have we would have landed. Okay, so bearing that in mind, we had um, from top to bottom down to what three thousand three hundred. From top to bottom, that's fourteen thousand to six thousand six hundred. So we've got here, and uh, we've got ten thousand four hundred. So what I would say is probably going to be about 7,700. All right, that's that's my bottom target for it. Okay, and um, if we break down below there, then yeah, 6,600 again. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think that the the, the highs and the lows are going to get sandwiched. Some they're going to get smaller. Okay, so we will fall from here, um, but we're not likely, in my opinion, to break 7,700, which is a decent level here where we bounce, 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 and also if we go back in time, that 7,700 played a fair amount of uh, resistance and support in these areas here. So I think that will be the lowest we'll find ourselves. I don't think it's going to come down in one big flash, but I think it will definitely come down um, over the next few weeks and months. And I, I honestly think that this could happen as early as tomorrow. And we'll just have a brief look at that. Uh, we have a look at this um, MACD. Um, this is accumulation. This is redistribution. We're about to hit the uh, go beneath the zero point in the next few days. The first little little leg under there. Um, and if we continue with that, the whole MACD will be beneath there, and it will basically be bearish. Our volume is is trailing off. Our, everything's trailing off. It's tired. It's worn out. It needs to fall. So that's enough for Bitcoin, okay? So um, as I've said, um, just to be clear, I'm obviously a little bit bearish on that, and my shorts also represent that. Shorts also on XRP. Now I like XRP for the fact that it, historically um, it has consolidated for long periods of time, very long periods of time, and then rallied. All right. So we're consolidating for a very long period of time now. Um, but there's not been any rally, okay? So what I like to do with XRP is accumulate it via margin trading. Now I, I don't know if any of you margin trade. It's not for the faint of heart, and it's not for the inexperienced either. But I use Bybit, so if you want to get in on that, there's a link below. You can click on that. It's an affiliate link, so there's something in it for both of us. And um, but if you don't margin trade, if you've never done it before, um, learn to do your own TA first and. Um, just always just use use small uh, small leverage. Don't 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 go crazy on it. All right. So that aside, we've not pumped. Okay. So I I actually do believe that XRP will hit its all time high again and then some. Uh, but for the moment, um, the chart doesn't really want to do anything other than consolidate still. And um, even though we've broken beneath a descending trend that we've been stuck beneath for over two years, so we broke beneath this earlier on in the year, and we had a nice rally from it. Now we broke above it again because this, this, as you can see, this is where the uh, the situation, the the financial situation, kicked in. We broke down beneath it. We broke above it again. We had a nice little rally. Now this time we are not coming down anywhere near uh, to test it. But if Bitcoin breaks down, this can break down too. So I'm just going to stretch this out because it's not it's not entirely. Uh, accurate here so we can have a look at roughly and like I say it's a two year trend line so it's not going to be absolutely accurate um, if we were to break down as of today and um, the support would actually be all the way down at 13 
0.7 cent, so more or less 14 cent. That's a massive drop, all right? That's a huge drop for XRP. I don't think it's going to come down to that level, but it could do. Uh, and what we don't want to see is it break down beneath that level because uh, I think that trend is over now, okay? For what it's worth, that trend is over. That trend didn't seem to do a great deal other than give us buy signals for decent pumps. So pumps there and pumps there. So it did, it did have a, it did serve a purpose, but it's not had continuation. So it's not ready for the pump. I don't think XRP is going to be ready for the pump until the market comes to a head, uh, and it's nowhere near close to doing that. So let's just accumulate some of this at these low levels and short it where possible, um, and obviously long it where possible as well. But uh, generally, the, with XRP, as you can see, there's a lot more money to be made on the shorts than there is on the longs. Um, but we could be coming to a close to a bottom. Now the bottom over overall now for the, for um, XRP is going to be ten cent because that's where this wick uh, came down to. But if we look at where the candlesticks generally closed, we're talking about thirteen thirteen and a half cents. So roughly where this trend line is going to be going down to uh, over the next few days. And like I said at the beginning, I do think that Bitcoin is due for a, um, a correction. You could call it a breakdown. You could call it uh, a bear. A bear trend, uh, which is what I think is going to happen. I, th I don't think it's going to happen all in one go. I think there's going to be significant moves, and then it's going to sort of bounce and reverse. So if Bitcoin were to come down to seven thousand seven hundred or so, let's just measure that out. And you don't need me to tell you that the alts often amplify the moves for of um, Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin broke down today to seven thousand seven hundred, that would be a seventeen, uh, just over seventeen percent uh, move to down. If uh, XRP broke down now to that level there, that would be 29%. So we're, we're not talking twice as much, we're quite close to twice as much the move down. Now that, if you've been in the um, in the game for long enough, you'd, you'd recognise that that is not uh, impossible. That that actually happens quite frequently with altcoins, um, especially if there's a big breakdown. Um, Bitcoin makes usually makes smaller moves to the up, uh, bigger moves to the down. For for uh, sorry and smaller move to the down in comparison to some of these altcoins, uh, XRP I think is very vulnerable to that, and I think will at least um, go down as much as Bitcoin, likely much more to be honest. Um, I'm not saying that we're going to see a 30% correction on this at all. What I'm saying is that it's going to go down with Bitcoin. Bitcoin wants to go down. XRP is going to go down. Um, and the trend line would be the first opportunity to buy it back um, and the trend line is more or less measuring at the same levels currently as where these uh, wicks are so relative strength around that area if we saw an XRP at 13.5 cent it would probably be a buy okay and a long for me not for you I want you to make your own decision because I'm not a financial advisor so long term um, we have to look at the weekly and the weekly shows nothing at all of any value um, but um, there is only this which is our it, uh, our MACD which is showing that actually we are positive for the first time in a while while going relatively sideways so that looks like accumulation to me on a weekly time frame telling us that actually at this level even at this level I'm not talking about going leveraged trading on this I'm saying at this level it could be known as a steal for the long term so the long term prediction on this for me at this point now is that these low levels even these levels here where we're talking 30 cent we're talking roughly 20 cent at the moment um, these are areas of, of where you would probably look back in history and go what? 20 cent? 30 cent? jeez man I could have bought that at that level and I could have 10 x or 20 x my money which is what I do believe will likely happen with XRP in the future um, when I say future I'm, I'm only talking about 18 months away because you've got to bear in mind that when you see a XRP pump, and it's done it more than once, it's done it three times, so the, the coin's getting on for being, oh, it's over six years old, and seven years old in fact, and you look back in history at what happened to it, and when it pumps, it pumps massively. It does a thousand, two thousand, sometimes over five thousand um, percent move in very small spaces of time, like a few weeks to a few months. 
and then when you look at the correction or the consolidation as a result of that it takes a very very long time to consolidate so this doesn't seem anything out of the ordinary when you look at the history of it now I don't have the entire history of it on here because I'm only using the Binance chart but you just have to take my word for it that that's what it does okay and um, it loses 92 uh, to uh, 90 even 98 percent of its value at some point so at the moment we've we've lost we'll, we'll be we'll be in the 90s at the moment so I do believe it'll pump but when it pumps it'll pump it'll, it'll pump really fast and it'll happen really quick and uh, it'll take a lot of people off guard uh, but it's not ready to do that clearly at the moment so this is still a time to accumulate this coin and uh, get as much as possible at these low levels because when I'm talking about when it does pump this will this will be you know and it will be a a 10x here in in a month you know it'll do something ridiculous like that or even more so just to recap we're bearish on this one we're bearish on bitcoin we're bearish on xrp we're bearish to the point of even as low as 13.5 or 13.6 cent that's pretty bearish all right so i've got my shorts on now and they're low leveraged obviously because i'm not crazy that you know uh, and I'm looking to hold it because I do believe that we're likely to come down maybe even to test this trend line or low, lower. I did say to myself I'll sell my short around about 18 cent but I actually don't think I'll be doing that. I think I'm only going to hold it for a little longer at least to see if an area like 16 cent gets taken out. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you find value in that video and if you do, you can subscribe. But if you don't, don't worry about it. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.